Hey folks, 99 here. Happy Saturday afternoon to you. This one's for my Volkswagen folks. Uh, I'm going to start off here really quick. This is a project that we're starting off with, that I'm starting off on today, is replacing the bulkhead panel of this, uh, of my 1964 uh, Volkswagen bus. I've already started, as you can see here, with the seam here. I've broken the uh, spot welds there, and then um, I just thought while I was doing that work, hey, I'm going to let my Volkswagen folks kind of share with the experience here. So here's the thing. The person that owned the bus before myself put a seat, a front bench seat in, not this one, but another one. They were two separate, and they were Toyota seats, and I'm, ass I'm assuming he wanted them to lay back. So he cut out the very expensive bulkhead and where the spare tire goes in here. You can kind of see the, those of you that have buses and, and are familiar with them, you know. But that's the the, uh, the spare tire indention, indenture, whatever you will call that right there. The, but you, and you, I'll show it to you on the new panel. But anyway, this panel is 700 bucks plus tax from uh, Wolfsburg West. Anyway, the person cut this very expensive panel out and um, put these tall headrest seats on both sides that I took out. And I have still yet to find uh, an affordable original bus seat. So that's a third row seat that I put in there. And it's been working for me. And it'll stay there until I find an original. But anyway, here is the... Um, replacement panel and that's a Wolfsburg West Wolfsburg, Wolfsburg West replacement uh, panel that they made I believe um, and it seems to be pretty good quality and the copy is pretty much dead on I mean I, I can't find any differences to this piece from the original and so and you know most people know that I'm not a purist guy I just want it replaced fixed looking good and looking well and i'm also not a purist to the to the point to where i wouldn't do custom work myself i like the custom thing and uh some some people that that watch my videos know that and uh, people that i am volkswagen friends with they they know that but this right here uh no this guy that that's a 700 dollar plus labor uh replacement and fix here so uh, I didn't appreciate that, but this whole time that it's it's always been like that since I've had it, and uh, I just have this this bar going across here, so my seat rested against that, and I even thought about and played with the idea of trying to fabricate a panel to go across here, whether that be to take the entire thing out and do my own thing, or uh, as far as doing my own thing, I mean just put a flat panel there and just bead roll it the way it is here these are bead rolls for for strength and I was probably gonna leave out the um, the spare tire compartment because that's a little little bit more complicated and difficult um, metal work than I know how to do so anyway other than that I went ahead and ponied up oh by the way these are the uh, American Racing uh, uh, Fuke Fuchs wheels uh, knockoffs that are going to go on there you know i polished them up i uh, did the black background and they're the offset uh sizes so uh anyway these are the the bead rolls that make the panels uh a little more stiff i have a bead roller back there in the shop so if i would have done it that's what i would have done it was just a bead roll a flat panel and then use my my brick to to make these side flanges here where they would be welded to. So, anyway, that's the panel for t the plan for today or the project. So my plan is to at least get the uh, spot welds all knocked out and, and then get this out of here and then I will plan my next uh, step for this uh, project. And uh, I think I will keep you posted on that for all those interested. Sorry to my rifle guys, but this is a Volkswagen moment and uh appreciate you watching 
respect the working class, and we'll see you later.